In minor league baseball, you go everywhere. But there's nothing like coming back home, or as close as you can get. For high school football players, making the Big 33 Classic is an ultimate goal. On Saturday, the best from Pennsylvania will be taking on the best from Maryland at Hershey Park Stadium. It's not lunchtime. It's not dinner time. It's not even Vader time. It's Tebow time. Coming off a Game 7 win against the Wilkes-Barre Scranton Penguins, the Hershey Bears now take on a rarely seen opponent in the Toronto Marlies. A high school in Colorado getting some heat for doing something our schools right here do all the time. The new postal vehicles are projected to be out on the road in 2018. Coming off a Game 7 win against the Wilkes-Barre Scranton Penguins, the Hershey Bears now take on a rarely seen opponent in the Toronto Marlies. When the puck drops in game one, the Bears will see a familiar face on the opposing bench. That familiar face is former teammate Connor Kark. Kark played 47 games with the Bears before being sent to the Marlies at the trade deadline. Even though Kark may be familiar with the Bears, head coach Troy Mann says he would not be changing his game plan. Like any defenseman, uh, when you put pressure on them and play physical and do the right things on them, it uh, doesn't matter if you're Connor Carrick, TJ Brennan, or uh, their sixth or seventh or eighth D, they're going to turn some pucks over and, and have to make plays under pressure. And uh, that's what our, we're going to attempt to do here tomorrow night. Hershey and Toronto split the regular season series at one game apiece. Now the Bears need just four more wins to advance to the quarter cup finals. In Hershey at the Giants Center, I'm Alan Klang. CBS 21 News. In minor league baseball, you go everywhere, but there's nothing like coming back home, or as close as you can get. Former Millersville star Tim Mazes is back in Pennsylvania at FNB Field. With the New Hampshire Fisher Cats, the Blue Jays AA team. Mazes relief pitcher really seems to have turned the corner as prospect after pitching for farm teams in Canada, Michigan, Florida. Now he's adjusting to double A. I think, you know, being promoted is definitely, you know, something that, that's been a goal. Um, but, you know, the ultimate goal is to make it to the big leagues. This is a stop and, you know, just continue to develop and continue to, you know, refine my game and work on things that need to be worked on in order to get to the next level. Well, it's been great. I mean, it's good to see a young uh, arm like that come up through the system and you know, showing a really good fastball, a good slider, and hopefully he can continue to progress where he can throw more, for, more often for strikes and, and uh, have some ex a lot of success with it. Tim's from Allentown, throwing in the low to mid-90s, and he's a lefty, so those guys always have a good chance. Even helped throw a no-hitter back in April. And the Senators, it's a double-hitter tonight against New Hampshire. Senators just a half game back in the West behind Altoona. First place Altoona tonight, hosting Erie. Another team going to Williamsport and the Little League World Series? Mechanicsburg would not follow Redland after losing its second and final game in the state tournament. Westside from Westchester beat Mechanicsburg 9-5. Mechanicsburg fell 3-0 behind Westside and couldn't quite catch up. And could Ryan Howard be traded? Reports say the Philly Slugger is getting some interest despite the fact that Howard right now is hitting just 159 in 73 games. Still got some power, and a contender might want him as a pinch hitter or maybe a designated hitter. Final check your forecast is next. This is Sports. I'm Alan Kling.